We're marking an end of an era at NBC News. Carrie Sanders is saying goodbye after an incredible 32 years reporting at NBC on nearly everything you can think of. Here's a look back. Fly over on Doris. Carrie Sanders, NBC's resident superhero, crisscrossed the planet at warp speed. Tomato fight! <laughs> but on Earth, good morning. He was our everyman. No ego. Hey! hey. Oh, Look at there! Oh. No fear. I'm not looking down. <laughs> you haven't even read the indictment. Correct. He was just a guy asking the questions we would have asked. Did you know that he had purchased these weapons? No, I wish I didn't know. Oh, how he went there. And this is where that garbage winds up, much of it plastic. One day, trekking to the far reaches of the globe, and the next... There's more than just cattle, there's a big cat. Discovering magic in our own backyards. So we're headed out to the Western Blue Cut. Can I say wow? Yeah. <laughs> How do you feel when you see this plastic? She's standing on her head. <laughs> he introduced us to the most wonderful humans. It's eerie. It's eerie to be here? It is. I feel their presence right now. And you feel like a young rooster. <laughs> Characters we'd never forget. Are we ready? <laughs> and in the field, it was always, why don't we, or I've got it, and what if I hang from a cliff, start in a freezer, broadcast underwater? He pushed the envelope, keeping us all glued. We have a baby dolphin here that is washed ashore. If he were an opera singer, he'd hit a high C before belting out a bass note. His range, that vast. And a lawyers for Trayvon Martin. Casey Anthony. Students are being urged. There's incredibly anxious moments. Always on top of breaking news. This is the third tornado that he has survived at this address. Whoa, that wind is blowing. He weathered over 100 named storms. The military rulers here. Holding his ground during political turmoil. The fighting has been fierce for two days. And then there was everything in between. And true to his word in 20 minutes, the pizza guy's here. For three decades, day after day, up with the sun and with us after dark, we often wondered when he slept. <laughs> the, the wonderful, wonderful Wizard, Wizard of Oz. Oz. Carrie simply never said no. There was too much to discover, too many people to meet, too much to tell. One thing that's quite apparent on this... Just a kid at the start, he joined Team NBC in 1991, but never lost that eagerness, heart, and curiosity. And from his first to his very last live shot, it was always is clear he loved every minute of it i've already run the jackpot in life thank you carrie for a job well done for today carrie sanders nbc news and carrie sanders joins us this morning carrie where has the time gone <sighs> man we've done it together where jose it we've done it together no it's, it's amazing to think back, I guess 1991 is when I had the privilege of first getting a chance to, to work with you. It's, it's as though, Carrie, and I see you there on the right there, that, that night of Hurricane Andrew in 92. There you were underneath a car, underneath the overpass with Steve Schneider. I remember that. You have just been an extraordinary journalist. You continue to be that. Carrie, what's... I've always like wanted to know how is it that you're able to to show so much passion, compassion, and intelligence in every single story you do. I, I will thank you for that. I I think it comes down to curiosity, and um, you know most people don't know that I have. Uh, I have challenges reading because of dyslexia, and uh, anybody who's ever looked at my script probably understood that, like, Carrie can't spell, Carrie's words sometimes are out of order. But when I got a chance, and this was, like, the best field trip every day, when I got a chance to go, feel, taste, touch, engage, and so my learning has been out there that way rather than reading about it or going through a history book and I just feel so I feel so blessed to have the opportunities and truly you know you talk about the privilege I will absolutely echo it the privilege to be part of telling other people's stories and, and Carrie you have 
traveled, you know, all 50 states. And how, how many places around the world have you been? I uh, did because somebody asked me to look it up, and so I sort of counted. It's either 65 or 66 countries. I've been on every continent and have actually been to what is even just floating ice. I went to the North Pole, as well as five years later making my way down to Antarctica. And just, it's, it's remarkable. I've been to places that, you know, I can admit that when they said you're going to Bhutan, I was like, where is that? I had to look it up on a map. So I've been to places that I didn't even know existed. And of course, that's the treasure of this job as a reporter, to be yeah. able to go around, see things, and then share what you yeah. discover with the viewers who have been right along with me. And I got to say, I thank each viewer who has been complimentary to what we've tried to do at NBC News and what I've tried to do in terms of just sharing information and educating people yeah. over to what's going on. Kerry, I learn something from you every single day, and I uh, stand in awe of your extraordinary career. And uh, I know that you're just starting many aspects of your life. So we'll keep in touch. Un abrazo fuerte, mi querido Kerry Sanders. Gracias, mi amigo. Te veo no sé cuándo, pero pronto.